Okay, now we're going to take a look at the track, Fear of the Dark. And I'm just going to play through the intro section for you and then we'll break it down. Okay, to start off this first intro riff, uh, we're going to play the 7th fret on the G, then on the D twice, back to the G, play that twice on the 7th fret, and then we're going to move to the B string, but so far it should sound like this. Then we're going to move to the 5th uh, fret on the B and play that twice, 6th fret twice, 5th fret twice, then 7th fret twice on the G, and then the fifth fret once on the B. So that first section slow should sound like this. Now we're going to move down and play from the fifth fret this time on the G, and we're going to play that uh, once, then move to the D string, play that twice, then back to the fifth string, uh, sorry, the fifth fret on the G string, play that twice as well. So. Then move to the uh, third fret of the B string and play that twice. Then the fifth fret twice, third fret twice on the B. Then we're going to play the fifth fret on the G twice. Then we're going to play fifth fret on the B once, fifth fret on the G once. Like that. So we're going to have. So when you put both those sections together, it should sound like this. Then you just repeat that whole thing again that I just played. And then we're going to move um, down a couple of sets of strings and uh, we're going to play this. Okay, so that's uh, fret 7 on the D string once, and then fret 7 on the A string, and play that twice, back to the D on the 7th fret, and then play that twice as well, so we're going to have... Then we're going to play the 4th fret on the G twice, 5th fret on the G twice, back to the 4th fret, then 7th fret on the D twice, and then 4th uh, fret on a G once. So slow, it should sound like this. Okay, now we're going to shift the position down and we're going to play this. So 5th fret on a D once, 5th fret on the A string twice, 5th fret on the D string twice, 2nd fret on the G twice, 4th fret on the G twice, back to the 2nd fret, 5th fret on the D twice, and then 4 on the G, 5 on the, uh, the D. Okay, so when you put both those sections together, it should sound like this, slow. Then you're going to go up to uh, the first position that we looked at again. And then you're going to do this to finish. So you're going to play the third fret on the D twice, third fret on the A twice, back to the third fret on the D, fifth fret on the D, seventh fret on the D. 5th fret on the D, 3rd fret on the D, then you're going to have a 7, 3. Okay, now we're going to look at the second guitar part for the intro, so here we go.
Okay, well that second guitar part is exactly the same as what I did in the first time round um, the introduction riff, but everything's just an octave lower. Okay, now we're going to move on to the clean guitar parts. Here's the first part. 